All right, I'm going to try a refresh. Any luck on anybody else? It is back. No! It is live Oh, there me. we go. All right, we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Sorry for the technical difficulties. One day I will finally get fed up at this city and just leave and find me a place where internet actually exists. Ah, the promised land. How I long for you. Be. If you want to help me get out of this hell, oh, donate the subs. Let's do it. Uh, that would definitely help. But at any rate, let's get back to the actual story here. So I'm not sure where we got cut off, but... Uh, okay, yeah. Castle Dress was informing... Elverina where the location is and we're gonna attempt a teleportation Well, that's a good start. I might be able to get out of here one day or another <laughs> so as You explain it to her. She definitely asks is it just us and you invited loss or Alvarez to come with us, right? And uh, I think that's where we're at. We're just trying to see if anybody's coming with now, I will inform you that this is not a guarantee I'll be able to get us there on the first try. And I only have two tries to get us there. So... Well, I, I hope all the info I gave you, the memory, you know, like, being, you, you've usually seen it once, you've seen it casually. Mm -hmm. I described it pretty, pretty well to you by letting you see it all. Mm-hmm. It's just very odd that this chart is very similar for a lot of different similarities. <laughs> Anyways. She um, nods to you and just, well, prepare whoever you're bringing with in case we run into trouble. And then let's be on our way. Hi hurry, hurry. She, Shay, you will be accompanying me. You will be my protector. All right. It shouldn't so, take us too long at all. Don't worry. Do you want to interrupt everybody's long rest and bring them with, or is this it? I mean, I'm hoping to just grab and go. So, I probably mean, just this, this is maybe the... come over and ask Twist to join, and then that'll be pretty much it. Unless Pratt wants to come. Like, Pratt, you're right by the door, aren't you? Were you just listening the entire time, just putting your ear by it, going like, Wow, tonight's busy. Unless he left. Is he gone? Uh, yeah, he's not. I don't, not yeah, he yeah, had a diaper emergency. As, and apparently, as Chris, the, as a... <laughs> yeah, the diaper is winning the Cold War, I'm afraid, my friends. So, yeah. I mean, then Lyra. Yeah, I'm there's gonna... Lyra. Yeah, don't worry. I, I have an idea. So I'm going to like go over to Lyra's room. It's like, all right, I'll just go follow them and get Twist. And I just go downstairs over to where Lyra is in her room. And I That's gently sick. knock on it because I know she had a tragic day. Soft tap at the door, Lyra. What would you like to do? I would like Kaz to make a perception. Okay. Ooh, okay. Make a perception check. Mm, you make you hear sp snoring. <laughs> Didn't know you were that kind of and sleeper, faint but... and faint, very faint sobs in her sleep. Hmm. Slowly open the door. It's locked. Good news, Alvarez is just down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Gleans over and calls. Well, actually, I don't need to call Alvarez over. Mind links. I think Lyra's asleep and. Cry in her sleep. All right. And I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna knock on the door. <laughs> you hear snoring. I and knock faint louder. Sobs. I have. If Continue it helps. Continue snoring. If it helps it's you, on Alvarez, if you're trying to wake her up, I have something better. All right, but. Do you, are you sure you want me to wake her up? Uh, no, no. Freya, or Lyra, may I ask this question for them because apparently they're not thinking of it, but do they need to make an insight hmm. check and maybe figure out whether you're yeah. purposely... Yeah. <laughs> you want to make an insight check on her snoring, you can do so. So, would your snoring be fake? Like you're trying to throw them off 
by snoring loudly or are you just actually asleep? Like they would know with that insight. Lyra? Oh no! She's it fake wasn't... snoring. Okay, there you but go. But the sobs are real. All right, so she was faking her snoring, but the sobs are real, guys. See, that's what I was thinking. This is why I shouldn't be a player. <laughs> what I do is I kind of go like, "All right, Alvarez, I have a trick I could do." But oh. we don't need to break open the door. I don't see. I, guess I could use my skeleton key. <laughs> oh right, yeah. I did. That'd be funny. It's like, oh right, I forgot you had that. Meanwhile, Twitch Such is a weird like thing. walking up behind you. <laughs> how do neither of you know how to pick a lock? Do I need to do it? Alvarez just pushes the door open. It was never locked to begin with. It's just Castle Dress was weak. <laughs> My new alarms! I kid, I kid. So, yeah, you you hear the noise of the door opening, Lyra, and you just kind of like retreat to yourself, I assume. Always correct me if I'm wrong. And... Yeah, she's bawling up on herself. Crap. Right. Look, I'm Lyra, gonna... we're here to check up on you. Do you want to talk later like we're planning to go grab the horses we forgot to get i would like to get my long rest guys because i want to focus on trying to get alvarez help if i can <laughs> you too jay sorry you too. sorry you hear you're, that i'm in the fine. bathroom you're, right now you are you're fine are you actually crying damn uh <laughs> I won't ask anymore. At any rate, Shiche and Alvarina like start walking down the hallway. Are you guys ready yet? I've been waiting. And you can hear her voice coming from the hallway as well, Lyra. I don't have a token for Alvarina. I might have to make one one day. Cazadress just can tells Alvarez, it's like, Sorry oh. if my sadness interrupts with you or inconveniences you at all. I'm gonna you like hear her. <laughs> you hear her light up. I'm gonna like connect with her and go like, ah, uh, uh, I'll, I'll try to keep her from coming in. We gotta go. I'm but backing out the door. As you all go, like, back out the door, she shade barrels in, and she grabs Lyra's arm and says, "Hey, you're coming, and I know you don't want to. I know you want to rest." But if anything happens to the rest of them, by some mischief or assets that are lost permanently because we couldn't get back because somebody wasn't there to help, you're a healer, aren't you? Yes. Come. That's not me asking. That's the company telling you this is your job at the moment. Fine. Thank you. She kind of pushes she shade off a little bit. <laughs> she, uh, you can definitely see as she looks at the ground, she didn't want to tell you like that, but she nods knowing that there's something happening to get the progress that they need. She'll be with us right. in just a moment, so please be patient, everyone. And she kind of like has a quiet conversation with Elvarina. Like, when I say quiet, like they just look at each other and she just simply nods. Elverine is like, "All right, I will defang my conversing skills for now, and once Lyra's ready, we'll make our way." Kazra is still telepathically connecting. Goes like, "And if we'll give you private time, if you need someone to talk to, you could talk to me later. I can keep it private too." Okay. As she invades your headspace. <laughs> All right, so I kind of want to imagine instead of being like just words that she hears, it's kind of like you see Kaz just standing there, like trying to act sweetly in your mind. Yeah. Any... So Lyra, you join us finally. Yeah. All right. 
we need to roll a D100. So... D100. Shabam! Oh dear god. You know what this means. Good thing we picked up the cleric. <laughs> Alright, actually I need to go see what this means. Uh, come on, I had this up a minute ago. There it is. Okay. How bad is it, Doc? It's bad. I, th I think it's like they should be very familiar with it since I gave them connected to their brain. It's kind of a cool ability. Okay, and then I'll have to roll again. Okay, so yeah, okay, okay. Well, I sure hope you guys got your short rest in at least. Because as the spell completes itself, wow, that's a lot less damage than I thought it would be. You wind up in a very empty no it's probably like a very uh, earthy place and then the spell just had a mishap and everybody takes five points of force damage and then all of a sudden there's like a loud pop and you guys reappear as if the spell was correcting itself putting you somewhere close to the vicinity maybe not exactly Gonna read oh no! One more Teleportation thing. sickness! Ah, I hated this! Yeah, you guys pop out and she just... Ah. Yes, seeing the place and actually being there are two different things all the same, Castle. I said I would defang my conversation pieces. I. If it, if it helps you out, I'll read it. You land on me no, later. Let's save no, the horse. No, let's... Okay, let's see here. Are we anywhere? And she kind of like points around. Does this look familiar to any of you? I mean, it looks pretty close. Alvis, you're the one that also helped drive the cart a bit. Does this, do you recognize this place pretty well? <laughs> Alvis re pops his leg back in place. Perception, yeah. Go ahead, give me perception checks. Sure, let's do it. So... Probably don't I... have advantage, so 19. Yeah, let me just kind of... I'm oh, trying I'm to make sure I... My perception. Yeah, I'm just trying to mesh out how this mishap works. Okay, so... Yeah, alright, alright. So I guess if it scored... Like, yeah, that's what happened. Like, the spell displaced you somewhere, and then all of a sudden, it got you closer to the vicinity. So... Alvarez, you would kind of recognize the surroundings. It's not exactly where you left the trolls, but it can't be any further than like 500 feet from where the trolls are. Well, it wasn't exact, but it got us close. Um, I think we should head off in this direction. Yeah, and with that, you're able to lead them closer to where the location where you left the trolls. At this point, you, as you kind of like make your way there, let's go ahead and do another round of either investigation or perception checks. I will allow either of these checks to go through. And I will roll a d100 because that's what I like doing. Okay, I'll say that's for that. And this is for... Okay. For a moment. I did not roll. Hold on. Let me try again. Try roll. Again. Roll. Yeah. There we go. Hey, you got it right both times. All right. You see splinter remains of what used to be your carriage. But you do not see the horse anywhere near it. I would love to roll an investigation on what happened to the cart, see if there's any evidence and stuff like that around it, indicating what yeah. occurred. Go for it. CSI this. 
tell me everything, Star. <laughs> tell me well, all the little dirty things you were thinking about that occurred. Oh, I will tell you every little dirty detail. Apparently, whether it was through maybe the Oni or maybe there were more trolls, there was signs of an attempt to try to relinquish your horse from this world. And it looks like a giant object came crashing down and destroyed the cart. And there's splinters of wood everywhere. You can make out like a, a big old chunk of log that probably broke off from whatever smashed into it. Like, it looks like you know, like how you break a branch, but somehow you just broke this log in a certain way. And then you just kind of like glance around looking for further signs. You can see heavy footprints like that was already here. There were already giant creatures walking about. But you can see heavy, fresh footprints, maybe no more than an hour or so old, that seem to have left the area at this point. But there is no sign of the horse. There's no sign of blood. There's no sign of, like, two carbon copy creatures of some sort in nature actually trading blows. Like, there's no horse hair. There's no like a hoof kick into the gut and then some kind of splash from that or something you know like there's none of, there's no sign of a struggle so to speak just that the cart has been destroyed in this location uh, looking further at the harness you can see that whenever it impacted there were several shards of wood that just kind of like cut the harness from the horse so maybe it got away You're just gonna kill me! Welcome In back. In her mind, because... <laughs> literally just because, like, oh no! Well, your hey, horse is in here, so... And at this point, Elvarina's like, putting a light spell up in the air. Or dancing lights and just kind of, like, looking over the area. Ah! Uh, it seemed like something big occurred, but... More importantly, no you sign of a battle say. here. Oh, I think there's plenty of signs of a battle. No blood, though. No any yeah. of that stuff around. Unfortunately, and I know it seems the only victim is a carriage that has been broken into millions of pieces. I gotta be careful. I'm getting close to my Yin and Shang's voice. <laughs> then... I did see tracks over there, points to like the spot, hmm, but, there's... but it kind of like goes looking at Elvary and it's like, that's not what you were paid for, right? We're here to requisition any assets that belong to the company, she, she informs loudly. Now, if oh! your asset is still here, we shall continue to look. So... I imagine the cart had a lot of supplies on it. The cart's crushed, but are there any supplies even there? Like, all of it's ruined, uh, or are they missing? It is... It's completely ruined, and it is missing. If there were any supplies whatsoever on the cart, but I don't think I heard anybody, like, actively using the cart for supply holding. Like, everybody's kind of been carrying their own stuff, so, like, you just basically lost the cart. No, the reason why I'm asking, though, is just because, like, technically, if we are missing assets, it's like, yeah, that also means we might need to go look for those tracks. Yes, the horse is an asset. You might want to consider that. I do. Oh, uh, let's... Should we start walking? Indeed. So, where's then Avalis? Would you like a repeat of your transformation from last week? Uh, why not? <laughs> Turning him into a dire wolf? Yep. Yep, just, uh, just uh, puts a hand on his shoulder and he transforms into a dire wolf. <laughs> All right. Kazadra switches stabs to her duomancy staff. Alright. So 
So as we are traveling about in this forest late at night, uh, I'll let the dire wolf make a perception check with his noggin or his nose. And then I scritch him behind the ears to give him inspiration. Scritch, <laughs> scritch, scritch, scritch. Oh, it's precious. All right. Which he might need to roll. Nope. What is Get it? it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> We're going to be here all night at this rate. <laughs> roll inspiration, my friend. I mean, I don't think it's going to change that? much, but... <laughs> Is it a D8 oh, or a D10 at this level? It's I a D8. Have... All right. It's it's not a D10. I there mean, we it, go. It counts an 18. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Advantage. Yeah. Okay. I guess that would change things. I don't know if we'll need this map, but it's here if we need it. And then you guys can gather around this dire wolf, just to kind of like paint the scene a bit. Uh, speaking of which, does. Okay, you have access to it. That's cool. All right. Yes, I do. So the dire wolf starts dancing along, sniffing the air, and starts hunting, as it were. You hear a soft off into a field nearby, like the scent. Like, I guess what I should be asking, what are you looking for exactly? Like, are you I'm trying to find the horse? horse? The horse. All right, that's what I assume. I just want to make sure because you know I don't want to just drag you along. All right, so yeah, you're doing exactly what I thought. You hear a yep. soft little as your senses bring you closer towards that meaty, chunky, hunky-looking meat there. That's so delicious. You just can't wait to sink your teeth into. By golly, if you put that horse on a barbecue spit, it'll. I mean, it's right over there. I'm going to be eating glue. I'll put a horse out for us. Sorry, I'm just imagining a full eating a bottle of glue. Mouth open slowly. We keep seeing smacks. <laughs> just. So, so just to be clear, we see the horse, right? <laughs> well, he knows where it is. And he's going towards it, and then all of a sudden you see Alvarez kind of like crouching down. And then, yeah, I guess at this point you guys can make your perception checks. Unless Alvarez has a communication with you to state otherwise. I mean, I kind of did the same thing with Raz all the time, so I'm imagining that I'm just automatically connecting to Alvarez via his microphone. Alright. I see a meaty horse that's about to get eaten. <laughs> Kaz just tries to do the lowest voice she can. It's like, I see a meaty voice that it's coming together. So, Ooh, to be clear though, there's a difference conscious. between there, there's a difference between what's happening in his mindset and Raz, because Raz has his thinking capacity, whereas Alvarez has to take the wolf's thinking capacity due to polymorph. Yes. Is is twenty is twenty enough here to oh, see yeah, what's happening? Yeah, absolutely. You see what's happening. <laughs> He's about to pounce the horse and you can see the silhouette of the Twitch, horse. The horse Twitch doesn't just even snaps his fingers and he returns to Alvarez. <laughs> Alvarez, as you leap into the air, you turn back into Alvarez and then you land on top of the horse. <laughs> the horse lets out a startled yell and starts to buck you. But you can make an animal handling to stay on the horse. <laughs> I kind of was doing research on how heavy Alvarez is. Alvarez, did you know that your bones were 25 to 30 pounds? Still doesn't matter. He's somebody who just came out of nowhere and jumped on his back. At which no, rate... I only mentioning that. The uh, horse steadies itself, even though there's a skeletal figure on its back. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, you would be in your skeletal form at the moment. <laughs> yep. I feel and... like you need to make this into a statue. This is kind of cool. Like... I feel like I need to ask you for disadvantage. So give me another one. Let's see what we get. Because just the idea of a skeleton jumping on my back would make me think twice. Alright, so yeah, he bucks him and then tries to dart off in this direction. Alvarez, you're able to hold on. And then it kind of starts to pass by. And then Alvarina just kind of like puts her hand out. And you hear her just shout the word, STOP! And then the horse just kind of like 
stops. Now, get your mounts under control and let's go. Come here, boy. Kind of like Kazarus walks over to the horse and just starts yeah. to try to pet it to make it so calm like, down. For six seconds, it's locked in place. And then all of a sudden it shakes its head and then responds to your pats. Uh, at this point, Elvarina just kind of like, Ugh, and starts tracing out a teleportation circle. So a minute passes. Oh. Go ahead. No, it's like, oh, good boy. Is this right. satisfactory, by the way, Shisha? Carriage is totally ruined. We'll have to requisition our insurance policy to reclaim anything with it. But you as a witness, correct? Yes, yes, I will witness that for you. Then I will be by with paperwork tomorrow. And then she kind of like finishes the teleportation circle. All right. Ride the horse in as soon as it comes up and finishes the last part. You all shoot through. Returning back to the city of Shandor, the horse and whoever's riding it wind up I'm outside. You are outside. So he looks like one of He looks like one of the, you know, four horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> Skeleton riding the horse. Now I have to roll perception checks because you decided to point that out for me. Thank you, Kaz. I uh, mean, I'll I'm make... not gonna feel bad. It sounds pretty I just, badass. I just wanna let people know where they are at the moment. So you're outside the building of the Adventures Guild and Yeah, there's some traffic here, but as you may well know, the the oddest thing that actually catches you off guard is that the tavern has dimmed its lights. Like, there doesn't seem to be anything going on at the tavern tonight. Uh, the rest of you wind up on the interior of the building. Uh, the door opens for you on the inside, and you guys are kind of like walking down the hallway of the Adventures Guild. There's a, a few people who are kind of like keeping guard, and then somebody just kind of like notices you, and they let you out. And then you guys are back on the street. Unless there's something nefarious you want to do in between here and then. I totally uh, owe you this, Salvarina. <sighs> Shisha interrupts and says, no you don't. This is an acquisition oh. requirement because of our guild. Any further questions will be directed to me. You have no reason to repay her. Her services were rendered as complete. Then I'll just say it as, thank you, Shishie. So Twist just goes up to the horse and just starts uh, caressing it. Uh, there, there. You are in perfect place now. Safe from the wilds. <laughs> we should put it in our guild stable. He's a good boy. And uh, unless there's any further need, like, Elvarina says, well, then I will take my leave. I'll see you in the morning, Shishe. Take care. And she just kind of like nods to her. And Shishe says, I'll head back to the guild with you and make sure the horse is taken care of and then finish up some paperwork and then I'll take my leave. You. Um. Gotta look at Lyra and kind of just sit there and go like, telepathic connector and go like, do you want to chat a bit, or do you want to go to sleep already? I'm going to say a prayer to my god, and then I'll go to sleep. Okay. No, I just wanted to check, because I, I understand you're emotionally not great right now. But feel free to chat anytime. I'm always willing to listen. Not great is an understatement, Kaz. I know. I just, you know, can't, I'm, ter I'm awkward like that. At least she not. Being talkative. All right, so Elvarina departs. Shisha continues with you. You return back to the guild house with the horse in hand, as it were. And yeah, I know. I found that funny, too. Uh, <laughs> so once again, we're back home. And you put the horse away, of course. Feed it. Give it scritches. All kinds of stuff. Shisha finishes up her paperwork exclaims that she'll see you guys in the morning in her own monotone way and at this point if you guys need anything from the NPCs now's your chance or forever hold your peace because everybody else is gone for today except for Shishay. Now 
Just probably telling Igor he could finally stop working on that sixth statue of the gargoyle. There's 20 statues in your workshop now. All I thought of Igor lovely. was fixing the wall. It's it's a wall with a wingspan of of a gargoyle, like facing out from the wall itself, and the wings have like the glass underneath it. Uh, I love creativity, <laughs> at least. I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be mad. I am unfamiliar with this uh, particular art form. Do. Do humans do these all the time? It's called Igorism. It's a really hip artwork style that he's trying to invent. Yes, mistress. Yes, I'm gone. I see. All right. But, um, I think what I will do so that we don't have to worry about the issue as much is that I think what I will do is pick up some diamond dust as much as I can later so that I could make more teleportation circle glyphs. Lyra, she, she like finishes up her paperwork and she kind of like takes you aside for a moment. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, she just says, sorry, and then just gives you a hug. She hugs her back because... I mean, didn't didn't they share a moment for a little bit? She was about because to... of my insight. Uh, define moment. There's several with she. Uh, like like she was to... trying to hide it, but I incited her, and I knew exactly what she was going through with the whole Morty thing. Morty, yeah. Whenever, well, yeah, so, yeah, whenever yeah. she's seen would, it, yeah. That that would give you a kind of an in with her. I don't mean to be hard on you or rough but sometimes people just need to push through what they're going through you know full I well agree. what I mean mm -hmm. Cyrus will be fine if anybody can do anything it's going to happen here I will also exhort my, my outside knowledge too to see if I can gain favors with the gods or strike a deal. <laughs> Be careful with who you make a deal with, but I just want to say sorry. I did not mean to be rough with you. It's fine. I needed to be snapped out of it. Did I just see Smith's token just fly across the board? Yep. Who the hell has control Whee! Smith if he's not here? <laughs> Control. I have control of Raz, not Smith. Oh no, and I'm gonna check to see who all has control of this thing. No, it's just him. But I wasn't seeing things, was I? <laughs> no. Oh wait, he was. He wasn't on. I know. That's why I'm like tripping. I might have to go back and check the footage. I think our roll twenty is possessed, guys. Oh, Either that. Either that or Nefarious is watching. He's like, you know what? I'm actually enjoying this stream. Let me fuck with him for a little bit. <laughs> Hey, somebody put their flag bear where I was going to put my musketeer. Shame on you. All right. <laughs> uh, so, Avelis Cassidless, could either of you explain Lila? One more time. Could either of you explain Lila? on her mood and stuff like that. Just, uh... She's been very... How should I put it? Distressed ever since uh, we uh, escaped from that, uh, that place. But she seemed fine when she came out, so... It's... If it helps you understand a little bit, I think I would understand her if the same thing happened to, you know, who can't exactly say it in front of Alvarez. Kind of just standing there like, trying to be like, hoping you get the hint. You know, I kind of felt a bad way myself as I lost my skin. I mean, 
when you when you start you, when you're afraid you're gonna lose something really important to you. Yeah. Hey. Meanwhile, Jace is like, "Get out of here! That ain't what happened to me. I just lost my head in a game of Call of Duty or whatever he's playing." <laughs> anyway. If you don't quiet down, I'm gonna smack him around a little bit. <laughs> uh, Catherine just kind of looks at Twist and go like, "And in, in this case, like." You know how close she is with Cyrus, right? Like, it's pretty obvious how much she adores him. I I never really got the chance to talk to her too much about personal things, except when we went to the hot springs, but... Yeah, she literally, I could just straight up say, is a girl that's head over heels for this person. Head over heels? Basically, in super amounts of love. What? Castle Dress used the word love? Memory spark? My ear no, but it's up. just it's just the fact that you duck that word every time you're describing what's going on with you. To use it so openly, <laughs> I'm finding it odd to hear. That's because it's not her. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay, I see how it is. So, Lyra, like, she Shay just kind of, like, nods at you at this point, just kind of, like, let you have a chance to go take care of yourself now. And she just kind of, like, asks you real quick, I know it's not much, but do you need anything? I'll bring it to you in the morning if you need it. No, I'm good. Thank you, she Shay. She kind of, like, nods, um, pats you, you on the shoulder. Do you care yeah. if uh, the doctor would mind me going down there to see him? At least before I go to bed. He probably won't. Um, sure, Althea is probably still hanging around too, so she can keep you company. Okay. <laughs> then with that, uh, she will go downstairs All to right, the so <laughs> obvious in... bloodied torture chamber <laughs> that is downstairs. You still have to get through the group like that's in the hallway. The... Go ahead. Oh, God. Sorry. Go ahead, Mega. So, um, I guess just like in response to what uh, Kaz Address said, uh, like his his face kind of flattens a bit. Just like, oh, it's one of those things, is indeed. Yeah, it's it's a very powerful thing. Sometimes you can lose your head, literally from. <laughs> The whole thing itself. Oh, um. Or got a wave at Lyra as she that walks by. For. She's going to go downstairs without saying a word. Downstairs is over here, hun. I oh. Uh, oh. She okay, just goes works, up. <laughs> that you works know better. What? <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I like got confused too. Like I thought there was a downstairs yeah. in there too. Yeah. I didn't build this shit. I was say. <laughs> Uh, I will say for your benefit, you'd best shield your ass before it gets you in a situation you cannot possibly imagine. I wish I could do that, but ultimately I'll never let it have be in that position. I'll try my best to make sure that never happens. Not again, at least. Just... Like he, he looks like he was about to walk off, but just like he has, he has like a, like he was about to bite his tongue, but then like turned it. Look, just there are very few people like you in this world, and how should I put this? You should be. Prepared for the worst. I'll take that advice. Even from to those heart. that you love. I don't worry. I I understand it too well. I understand. But I hope you have a good night then, Twist. You seem to be rather tired and busy, and sound like you're emotionally distressed a little. Today's an emotional day. <laughs> has been a cycle, I hasn't it? I just, you know, good night. He snaps his fingers and he just, he disappears. <laughs> nice. Walks up the stairs with Alvaris and kind of questions like, 
kind of hope it snows soon. I like the snow. Yeah. It is getting close to winter time. Hey! Question Alvarez. Whenever you get your body back, what's the first thing you would want to do? You know, I really haven't thought about it much, but... A nice, cool drink. Let me just tell you this. Once you get your body back, I have a surprise for you. Matching tattoos? <laughs> Do they even sell tattoos? And also... Are needles hurtful? I don't like needles. Did you ever get healed by the doctor? Yeah, but in his case, you know... Oh, oh, wait, is the, that how it feels? Is that really how it feels? Brick. In my defense, I'm kind of busy milking him all the time. I don't really think about it too much. I think he's just enjoying me milking him all the time. I don't know why. Make that completely <laughs> awkward. I have and no Alvarez comment just, for that. Just like, just like falls into silence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, hey, you're the one that made it happen. What are you talking about? He's the one that told me to milk him. I thought that was Jack. I milked both of them. Oh God! No, oh my yeah, God! You, oh, you forgot. You forgot the. You forgot the scene with. Uh... I Snakes can... can be milked. Oh, for that's a uh, yeah. Well, that like during during uh, during RJ surgery. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, I don't see that as actually milking. That seems to be something no, more that... provocative. So I kind of like black no. That's that out. that's actually <laughs> that is a term though they use star. for they use that for star. spiders and snakes. What? And, and star the, the wordplay. That's kind of the joke. I know. That's why I blocked it out of my memory. I don't. I don't know what part of this that you guys don't understand. But yeah, there's a reason why I probably didn't pay much mind to it. I mean, it happened. I'm not denying it. But at the same time, I'm gonna switch scenes because, yoink! Hey, Lyra, you're down here with your boyfriend. What would you like to do while I think of something totally different now? I'll send you a picture so you feel less bad, Star. Here you go. I don't. Uh, it's on no, the sub channel. No, I'm gonna delete it before I even look. <laughs> I mean, you know what? If we're gonna get age restricted, I need everybody to go ahead and start paying that Patreon sub now. Um, <laughs> but no, you you see out there over here, kind of like bringing down some snacks for Jefferson, setting it on his table, and then. Uh, like, I'm not sure if the doctor was here this late at night, but it's up to you. I don't mind. And um, Althea is just kind of like caretaking, and she notices you coming down. Oh, Lyra, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, everything okay? I, I know you went to go take a nap and everything. We had to go and retrieve a horse and carriage, but the carriage was busted to pieces. We got the horse, we returned it, and I wanted to come down here to visit him before I went to sleep. Oh, well, did the horse it. survive? <laughs> <laughs> you hear from across the room. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever made this joke clear, but uh, there's a reason There's a reason why, like, uh, there's a... a a significant amount of dust that uh, accumulates in the doctor's room upstairs. <laughs> Indeed, Wait, so. I, I didn't hear the joke. Like, what was the joke? Is the horse alive? Yes. She answers back mindlessly. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to get a sample of that one later. <laughs> Did I just hear a cow in your background, Lyra? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Althea just kind of like 
finishes some minor stuff like she's making sure that uh, Harrison's all comfortable or at least what it looks like and then sees that you're over there by Cyrus and uh, she beckons uh, uh, Athea to come over to her for a little bit and she does like she just finished up hers uh, how is how is Harrison and Cyrus both doing since you've been <sighs> well I mean they're breathing they're still alive they're not reachable yet mentally perhaps we focus on bringing them back to a mental state they'll come back but I don't know the doctor had some theories ideals hypotheses uh, uh, he threw a lot of technical words at me I, I'm not gonna lie I don't know a lot of that stuff but I'm excited to hear it which mm -hmm. I assume means they should be fine or in the process of getting Who's worse off? Because I'm assuming it would be this one. Jefferson raises his hand. <laughs> she oh, kind of looks over at Jeff me. Jefferson. I wasn't asking you. Well, if I may <laughs> put you my asked, You should have asked, are you a potato? <gasps> <No>. <laughs> are yes, you a well, vegetable? Are you laying down like... No, no, not, no, no. Are you currently my... flopping around like a worm? Like, eh. Yes, actually, I have been, and I have not been able to move from this bed at Be my own thankful speed. thankful that you can now, talk. You know, I am very she thankful. She kind of glares. Is, <laughs> I'm also going to exercise the right of my talking to convey to you my defense, if I may. You see, no, you may not. I, I, I'm not uh, interested in a thing me. that you say. <laughs> I'll never understand the these women. You guys hear sparking of electricity happening <laughs> near the doctor's work desk. <laughs> Probably the sharpening of daggers too, but we don't see that. <laughs> uh, uh, Lyra is going to sit on Cyrus's bedside and just continue to talk to um. Fuck, what's her name? Althea. Althea. Move your, Althea. Move your fucking talk, and you'll see her name. <laughs> there you okay. go. Oh, you can't see it because Harrison's name's in the way now. Here, I'll move him over there. Good, There you go. Thanks. Out there. Just <laughs> shove Harrison to the other end of the bed. <laughs> you can roll him up and throw him off to the other side. Oh, okay. You know what? I think my lasagna is about done, and so is our time here. So how would you like to finish this scene? I would like to know if I got an answer back. Uh, You don't get an answer, no. I'm not saying okay. the gods did not hear you. But okay. Navarius, with this particular cleric, is not forthcoming. Okay. And just to end us on a note, for no particular reason, roll wisdom save for Cyrus. Okay. Oh, this is going to be bad. I know. He's, he's bad at wisdom. Oh my god, I'm going to laugh if he rolls a 20. Well, it would be... Nice. Wow! No! Nice! <laughs> wow! Damn! At, at the sound of your beautiful voice, <laughs> you hear a mumble. It was just audible for a moment, like in a hard fought battle like this person just came out of a hard fought battle but you hear Cyrus just kind of mumble out my mistress Lyra and then he was never conscious but the words escape his lip as he kind of like tries to call out to you and then that's it like he's back into the state you heard something you quickly turn you lean down to try to get a better look at him and you know maybe you're in a panic I don't know what what do you do in this moment like you just she, swore she... you heard him she will turn to Athea and then look back at Cyrus. Did you hear that? I... Well, did he... Is he... Is he yeah. okay? He... Well, he... he I, can I run... Can I do, a, like, a medicine check on him? Yes, she may. Okay. And this will be where we end the scene. Just to kind of, like, paint a picture with pictures. 
<laughs> rolls a natural one. He's dead. Oh, <laughs> He's boy. dead! Yeah, yeah, let's oh, see how please your medicine don't. Goes. That was such a good roll. That was a good roll. Hey. Right. Hurry up. <laughs> you can tell that his body is stressed. Like, whatever he's going through, he's still going through it. And his mental state is locked behind whatever walls are keeping him from coming back. Mm -hmm. But he's fighting. You could tell he is physically in his state of mind trying to fight to get back to you because the cards divide him to be by your side and he'll be damned if that divine does not come through and he returns to you and okay. that is where we're going to end tonight today's session i have a lasagna that i can actually smell now so i know i need to get going uh, <laughs> uh join us again next sunday it's uh this one here starts at 12 p.m if you're interested we're going to get that last battle going for stream raiders there thank you everybody who's coming from stream raiders we appreciate you and uh, on top of that, I want to say, uh, let's see here. So next week, 12 p.m., we're going to do some more open role play for sub only. So if you want to join us, exclamation mark, Discord, join our Discord, and then subscribe to the Twitch channel. Link Twitch to Discord, and you'll have new sub only options in our Discord to join this game. Monday night, tomorrow night, we're going to be back in Elsperia, Trails to the Pass. Uh, we're on a trip with Paulina, which is why the tavern is dimly lit tonight because she's in the middle of a expedition. Uh, you guys are heading to Jillian Cove. Uh, we're currently working on a robot man. That, that's what I remember. Uh, Wednesdays are currently still on hiatus until after the second. Uh, we will reveal more soon, but we are looking for new players. So if you're part of our community and in our Discord, look at the looking for players if you're interested in not only the future game on Wednesday, but we are also still recruiting for one-shot charity uh, during the middle of the week, most definitely, we can use some more faces to fill those spots. Uh, on Fridays, our open role play starts at 5 p.m. Central, and it's a lot of fun. Come on by. If you want a sample of what's going on on Sundays, open role play is a good gateway drug into that. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday at the moment, Thursdays, and Saturdays are usually my days off. Either I'll take them off, or I might be streaming over at We Rise as One. It's a moniker off our... Uh, Cranium rats that are hanging out in dragon spine right now and you could join us over there whenever i'm playing video games and one game i'm looking forward to is sword of legends i think it's what it's called and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some mmo with that wonderful chinese game when it comes over to na uh other than that say good afternoon to <laughs> no not pokemon snap get out of here I, I went through the trouble to get Pokemon Sword, and that's as far as I went with Pokemon. All right, say good to, goodbye to Twitch and Facebook. Goodbye, Twitch and Facebook. Good night. Good night, Twitch and Facebook. Yes, I did not up. hear you. I didn't hear you, Cass. Lies. Lies. I, like you don't you don't say bye long enough for the mic to register you. <laughs> Good right. night, everyone. I'm going to keep talking until Star mutes me because I want to make sure you guys know and I hope you have a wonderful <laughs> evening. So with that, my friends, I wanted to remind you that do you hear the calling? The chaotic calling. Stay tuned. We're going to go raid somebody. And I muted the entire Discord so you can't hear them. <laughs>